So they submitted three names to the student body. The Crusaders, which I recommended after Holy Cross. Pete Faradoni recommended the Barracudas, the Fighting Fish. And then Eric Scott, who was helping me in basketball, he uh, recommended the Colonels. I said, Eric, why the Colonels? He said, well, we're from the South. They could call us. So the student body voted on the name, and that's they elected the name, they chose the name, the Colonel. So that's how the Colonel's name was born, Bill. And prior to being the Colonels, uh, Brattleboro were known as the Organ Men because of the SD Organ down on uh, uh, SD, not SD, but Bird Street. Mm -hmm. And then they started to be called when they had some success, they began to win some ball games. Uh, the press kind of put the moniker on Colonel Teens as, uh, you know, the Natowich man because of the, the coach. And he said he wasn't really comfortable with that, you know, the Natowich man. And so they began to have a discussion. And uh, a teacher here at the school, uh, shop teacher at the time, uh, said, you know, we're in the South. Not the antebellum Confederate South, but we're in the southernmost large school in the state. So why don't we be the pride of the South? take on a Southern image. And that's how the Colonel was born. Okay. Um, and then with the Colonel mascot, I guess I would say it's not about the mascot. It's about our players. It's about our students. And let's keep it where it should be. This was my second year in the position. And we had just hired a new principal, Jim Day. Um, and it was early in the fall where he talked to me about concerns that he had heard from students. Um, Jim had an advisory, as, as most teachers do now, and um, I think students in his advisory, they were ninth graders. One girl in particular, I, I'll never forget this, that you know we had the, um, the tags, the student ID stuff, and um, this one girl, a girl of color, um, said to Mr. Day that you know she has this um, picture of herself, and then she has this picture of this southern colonel who in her mind represented kind of a racist historical image. And she just didn't feel really good about having her picture with that image. And that really struck me. I know it affected the principal quite a bit, but um, that, that personalization of how that image affected students um, really, I think, started the whole discussion about the, the mascot. Um, and I think more and more students um, kind of voiced their concerns about, about that image. We had the colonel, we had the logo on our uniforms, especially on the football team, we had them right on the shoulder pads. Um, and we had never experienced any form of uh, racial, racial situations or uh, problems. But there was never, never an issue that stirred up to my recollection when I was in school. Um, my son, both my son's senior jackets Move had the colonel one. embroidered on the back. And I thought it would be a good idea for my oldest son to pass it to my grandson, who's a senior. And he says he can't wear it, Mom, because it's got the colonel on it. And I think that's very sad. Uh, so when I started coaching all of our coaching gear, and here's another weird concept, Brattleboro Field Hockey was red, white, and blue. I don't know why, because I inherited those uniforms. And we switched them over after a couple of years. So when we had the uniforms, the, uh, we had stick bags that we bought. And they were kind of expensive. And they all had kernels on them. So once the kernel came, we had to remove everything that had kernel on it. And it was kind of hard to do that. So we had kids put um, like pins or stickers or we try to black them out, but that didn't work because it was that plasticky stuff. And every once in a while, a kid would forget to, or not, put the pin on it or whatever they were covering it with. And then you'd get a parent coming up who was against the colonel and would say, you know, they, I'd get a complaint from the office, your, your colonel's showing and stuff like that. So it affected us financially. Um, I know at the school board meeting that I went to about the colonel, my son got up and said that all his life he'd wanted to be a colonel, that was what he aspired to be, and to him it was just a symbol of the school, nothing to do with the Confederate flag and all that stuff. You know, I, Pride of the South, 
you know, the, the pride of the South phrase, in and, of, in and of itself, you know, it means the pride of Southern Vermont. And that's kind of the way I understood it when I got here. You know, pride of the South was a big, you know, was on people's t-shirts. And I took that to be pride of Southern Vermont. Um, what I didn't realize, but I understand now, is some people took it in a different, in a different light. Um, and you know, I can't sit in judgment and say, well, because I felt this way about it, I'm right and you're wrong. I have to understand that other people have a, attach a different connotation to it. I feel like BUHS should have something that is in, more empowering to the students and shows something of BUHS and the kernels instead of the South. I think a lot of the reason that we're, you know, we've kind of had to shift what school spirit looks like here is because society has shifted. You know, the images that we have of pep rallies and the movie Grease and all of those great things from the 50s and 60s, we're not in that society anymore. So we have to look for different venues and different ways to engage students in the school and in the culture. I think one great example of that was the lip dub we did a few years ago. <clears throat> that was a very um, powerful student event. You know, we had all of our students here all day working on that process. And um, I think that was an example of school spirit. I think we see school spirit, we'll see it tomorrow at the Arts Appreciation Day. You know, I think we've gotten better and students have gotten better at identifying how they want to manifest their pride in their school. And it's not necessarily what happened when I was in high school. It was, it was during the height of the controversy about the school mascot and it was pretty much determined that the school was going to not be able to use the Colonel emblem uh, for our mascot. And so students were concerned, upset. Uh, they wanted to talk about the reasons why the administration didn't want us to use the Colonel mascot. And then there were also a lot of questions about what would replace the mascot, what would replace that, that symbol of the Southern Colonel, if anything. So the re recommendation of the administration is uh, not based on political correctness, and I'm just quoting from this statement. We have come to the conclusion that the current mascot image of the colonel and the symbolism in it projects a genuine problem for many of the BUHS students and staff. Although 62% of the students in the recent non-binding student opinion poll voted to keep the name colonels and the mascot image, 38% of the students and 79% of the staff voted to change the mascot image. And I think that struck us that, you know, close to 40% of the students and almost 80% of the staff felt like they wanted to keep the colonel um, name but get rid of the image. Um, right after we retired the mascot, um, we had a contest and people submitted uh, designs. And I think at the time it was kind of raw and everybody was like, well, it's not the same one. And so that never went anywhere. You know, there were a few submitted designs. Um, some of them looked like Captain America, which is kind of cool now. Um, one of them looked a lot like Thor. So I, I think Marvel was in here kind of working that. Um, I would love it if we could have another contest. Um, I'd be really open to having a different mascot. Well, I think if, if students wanted to create a mascot, uh, that that would make a lot of sense, but not the colonel, not that image of the southern colonel. Um, I mean, that that's clearly um, not not appropriate. Uh, I think I think students would understand that. But I really think that a mascot would help school spirit. Just a central. We have nothing central here anymore.